Hi guys, Snake Dotty here. Welcome to a new series on my channel. This series comes from the Snake MC server, my server. And the first house we are featuring in this new series is by someone called N Ann, who is the plot locator and the chief builder, as you can see from the sign. Um, AWS Darcy is the managing director, and BDR Daz is the sidekick. Um, this is an amazing build. I'm just going to quickly fly up just so you can see um, quite just how large this all is. It's a huge plot of land, all been done with, with land protectors. Um, when you fly into the region, it says um, that we are entering AWS, AWS Darcy's protected area. And um, yeah, this is this is a huge house. Let's go through the front door. The front door is open for some reason. But uh, yeah, you, you fire, the, fire the lever and it opens. I'm just going to hit the lever to shut the door. Bit of good redstone under there to uh, make that work. We have a nice little seating area, little table area here. Some wood and some nature items in their chests and the furnace. Let's go through here. We're out into the into the back garden. They have a fantastic little pumpkin farm, all growing nicely. Um, as you can see, it's all looking lovely, all growing. They can make the they can sell these and uh, make some money, which is really good. And that is part of the server. Obviously, it's, it's although it's a survival ser server, there is an economy on here. As you can see, I've got 7.1 million. I've got quite a lot of uh, quite a lot of money. So um, yeah, I've been busy making money on here, but they, these guys are can as well. Where they're selling their pumpkins. Um, as you can see through here, they've got some they've got some glass to keep the uh, to keep the pigs in. I guess that's to stop people just flying in and slaughtering their pigs. Because once you're in a protected area, as you can see now, it's this is N Ann's protected area. This one here was uh, was Jack's. Was it where was Jack's protected area? Let me have a look. Where did we come into Jack's? I don't know. It's probably when I flew. But yeah, this this what this is this is. So they've got three people building, and obviously they just they just use each other's. Uh, protected area. I can I can go through uh, the gates because I am the owner. But as you can see, we've got uh, lots of pigs. They can kill the kill the pigs, get the meat, sell some sell the meat there, and make some money, which is really cool. What else we got down here? So we've got another spawn area. By the look of it, we have we've got some sheep. Hello, these are just spawning naturally in the world on the uh, on the grass. The chickens as well. Wow, they're lagging the server hard. <laughs> got some got some. Uh, oh, hello there. They were just glitching through. Got a little baby chicken. Then we'll leave them in there though. We've got lots of chickens spawning. What have we got around the back? So we're, we're leaving N Ann's protected area now. We're entering Jack Furious's area. Got a little got back door. I'm going to go up here into this area first. We've got a little bridge, which is looking lovely. And we've got a, a little area around here. What's this? Looks like an enchanting room. Ooh, we've also got a zombie by the sounds of things. So they've got some nether wart here uh, and an enchanting area. Not enchanting area, sorry. A, 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 an ender chest area and an anvil, a bit of potion stuff as well, which is cool. I think I saw some stairs up as well. We've got a door on here. Yeah, there is a door. Let me shut the door. And so there's a zombie on top here. There's the enchanting area. There's a zombie up here. Where did I hear a, hear a zombie from? Must be under. Must be underground somewhere. Must be underground. Yeah, not sure. That's why right. he's he's not doing anyone any harm though. What we've got in here looks like a a new room. I'm not sure. Nothing much in here, just some uh, just some grass. Maybe they're going to spawn some new stuff. I'm not sure. Oh, hello, zombie. Um, to stop. There's no one in here for you to see. Um, they are here. Here's the front door. Okay, right. So he was trying to leave. He was trying to leave. There's the front door. But again, if it's protected, you can't you can't just come in. If you uh, want to restrict people, it's. Actually, no, I think you can come in the front doors, but you can't go through gates and stuff. They're protected. Um, what we got down here? So we got a, is this a tree house. Ah, it looks like it is a treehouse. Okay, let's have a look up here. Let's have a look up here. Yeah, it is. This is cool. Bit of green stained glass. Got a bed. Got a chest and a furnace. Nothing much in here, but it's cool anyway. Um, can we go through, please? There we go. What else can we see? So this is the this is the farm. This is the pumpkin farm again. Oh, just another pumpkin farm. A separate little pumpkin farm. Never have too many pumpkins, I guess. That's the bridge. We're back at the front door again, so let's uh, let's go in this way. Let's go in this door down here. So I know there is something really special in here, something that I think is amazing. I've seen it before, but it's just really cool to see it on your own server. That's the that's the door in from the pumpkin farm. What we've got up here? Let's have a quick look upstairs. This is their like their 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 vault with all their stuff in. They got what well, they got? They got seeds, other food, sugar cane, carrots, potato, wheat, cooked meat, eggs, and more eggs. Lots of eggs, clearly. Can't get in these chests, that's good. Uh, value, valuable stuff, armor, weapons, wood, planks, wooden items, tools, all mob drops, 
Uh, wolf. Oh, there goes the chest. A bit of lag, obviously, on the, on the server. Ooh, I think that's those chickens causing that. Um, blocks including wool, stone, stone items, cobble, dirt, nature, with saplings, flowers, and dye, and some random stuff, which is awesome. Well organised. I like that. You've got like an automated smelting system here, by the looks of things, which comes out and goes straight into the chest. They've got iron and leather. Yeah, we can. If you if you get zombie, uh, let me let me show you. If I plonk uh, a zombie brain in there, it will go out into the hopper, into the chest. It will smelt. So they can just come in and dump all their stuff in these in these in these chests, um, and as you can see, it will probably disappear straight away. Being it's gone, what we're going to get is another bit of leather. So yeah, the leather the leather smelts from zombie brains, which is really cool. Um, right, the big thing, the big thing I want to show you on this on this little thing is amazing. We've got a little bit of a chicken farm going on with lots more eggs. But through here is their farm. Now this is all really impressive. They've made a proper decent farm here with pistons and everything. And if you haven't seen this before, I know a lot of you probably have. But if you uh, if you just release the lever, water will flood out. It will push all the uh, oh it looks like we've got a bit of a glitch thing going on. Oh, there we go. Look, all the water comes out, forces all the uh, all the wheat out, breaks all that, and it goes into the chests. And there we go. Lots of seeds coming in, lots of wheat coming in. Just so clever. I love it. I love what they've done. All runs down into channels. Another chest here. More wheat, more seeds going. And this happens on both sides. Um, I will replant that before I go for them. I don't want to leave them. They have the same thing here with potatoes. Let's 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 fire the potato one, shall we? Here comes the water. There go all the potatoes. It will glitch a second, obviously, while the water loads. There's so many mob, there's so many item drops happening. Uh, let all the potatoes flood down, and then the water can be blocked off again by the pistons. All the potatoes go in. They've also got uh, an automated reed farm in here, which is really cool. Um, I can't remember where they did the button for it. Was it? Was it round the back? Was it just double-sided round here? I think it's just double-sided. Um, ah, it does it automatically at, uh, at heights. I think. I think it's an automatic height thing when they when they go up. I'm not sure. Yeah, I think it did. It just just fired itself. The dispensers must fire it. That's very clever. Um, is there another one below? I think there might be one more level below. There is. There's carrots. So let's fire the carrot one as well. Boom! Here comes the water. All the carrots fire off. That's so a very, very efficient way of doing it. It takes a lot of work. It takes a lot of money. I think they spent an awful lot of money getting all this stuff, um, getting all this stuff working. But my, when it's working, it works really well. As you can see, they can. All the carrots are flooding straight in through the hoppers, um, and then into a chest. Really, really well done. And they can go and sell all those items, or they can use it as food, as they want. But um, yeah, it's a really cool, really, really cool way of doing it. I will plant these, replant all these for them. Um, but yeah, awesome. So guys, if you want to get your house on uh, featured on the uh, on the House of the Week series, just uh, just build. Just come onto the play.snakemc.com server. Um, we're out of beta testing now on survival, so it, it hopefully is pretty much fully working. Um, there will be some stuff that we add and take away over time because obviously you now that's what happens with servers, and you, you get better ideas or you want to change things that aren't quite working well. Um, but yeah. You just just come on the server, log in, join, get your, you get a sponge and you get a kit. And when you get a sponge, it gives you a protected area. You get a 20 by 20 square protected area, so it gives you a place where you can safely build without the fear of griefing. Just leave a sign and uh, yeah, leave a sign where your build is, and I'll fly around. If I see your sign, I like the build. I will feature it in a future video. Guys, hope you enjoyed, and uh, I'll see you again soon for some more videos on Snake MC. Thanks for watching. Bye.